Have you ever wanted to see what the past really looked like? Like if you've ever seen like an old black and white photo from a time period like the 40s or 50s, it just looks so different from reality that we live in today. Like I actually find it difficult to imagine some of those photos in color. It's almost as if that time period actually was in black and white. I think it's because the life that we live is so different from the way things were back then that it's kind of hard to relate our experiences to that. And if you're like me, you came to the right place because today we are going to dive into some AI that is going to turn some black and white photo and videos into color. The AI that I'm talking about is called The Oldify. I've come across some really interesting videos where people use AI to increase the quality of old footage or old film. They colorize it, they increase the frame rate, and it just gives this surreal lifelike life to this old film. That is what I want to explore in this video. I want to know how well does this de-oldify AI actually work and how hard is it to do? Let's take a look at some of the example photos they have on their website. And by website, I mean GitHub page. Okay, let's start with this photo of the woman and her kid. I mean, that looks pretty insane. It looks like it did a fantastic job. It, even, it got the color of her hair, the skin tones perfectly. There's the odd like desaturated area. But I think overall that is really cool. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, this is what I was talking about at the beginning of this video. These kids in their suits and their briefcases, like it's hard to imagine reality like that. But when you see it in color, it like, breaks that barrier a little bit. That is so interesting. I'm curious if those suits were actually blue or if they were black. That is really cool. Okay, this is a photo of the Golden Gate Bridge uh, while it was being built. That's insane. I've actually been exactly where this photo was taken. One last example, look at the detail on this one. All the little individual colors, that is so interesting. Okay, this is super cool. I need to get my hands on it. We gotta give it a try. Rather than just using some random photos on the internet, why don't I actually like contact some friends and family and see if I can get some important photos that they would actually want in color. Also, welcome. If you're new here, thanks for coming. My name is Mazby I'm a film maker, visual effects editor, but also strongly enjoy all the amazing things that the internet has to offer. Which brings us to this video, so if you enjoy videos like these, be sure to stick around. Oh, and the best part about this, I'm going to try and do this with open source software, so hopefully we can do this all for free. Okay, I guess it's time to go find some photos. I'll keep you updated. All right, we're back. It's been a couple days. We're actually using a different camera, so if there's a flicker, I apologize, it'll be gone soon. So I did some asking around looking for some black and white photos. I actually got a handful of old family photos from Clara's parents. Clara is my wife. She streams on Twitch. You should follow her. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description. Anyways, if this works out, I'm hoping we can actually print these off and give them to Claire's parents as a gift. I think that might be fun and there might even be a nice reaction. Cool, well, I guess the next step is actually coloring these photos. Oh, and before we start, just to make sure that this is going to work, scroll down and hit that like button. It really helps this, uh, yep. It does the thing. So it looks like on the de-oldify GitHub page, there is a quick start link. We're gonna click on this and it's gonna allow us to just upload any photo we like. So we can go ahead and click a photo and literally within seconds, boom, it's done, it's colorized. So I'm just gonna right click it and click save image as, save it wherever you want. And easy as that, we already have a colorized photo, didn't cost us anything, just upload, colorize, save. Looking at these photos, a lot of them actually did a phenomenal job, like I'm really impressed. You can tell it does really good with just like headshot portrait photos. The way it works is it'll recognize the face, prioritize the skin tones, and then anything else around it, it just tries to pick and choose what that color might look like based on the exposure. For example, darker colors are gonna look darker, lighter colors are gonna look lighter. That's just a challenge of trying to really figure out what that color actually was. It looks like it can recognize trees and grass, no problem. This one didn't really seem to work out very well. I think because there's so many faces in there, it caused the skin tones to kind of just bleed. I have a feeling the AI wasn't intended for very large group shots like this. Another thing I noticed is that if there is a shadow on somebody, it will fill in that shadow with either black or dark blue, even if it is on skin and not a clothing. But if we look at the black and white on this photo, it is pretty crushed there. I mean, I don't blame the AI. What's happening here is we're not recreating the photo, we're just adding color to the photo. Speaking of which, I actually did run these photos through like a reconstruction AI that's supposed to like fix any problems. Um, let me show you some of those results. This AI will try and detect faces and like reconstruct them uh, to make them more sharp and detailed. But I found in this case, it didn't really work too well and it just kind of made it smear 
almost as if it was like an oil paint smear on their faces. So I ended up just scrapping the whole reconstruction thing. Although I should mention it did work out pretty well in some cases. As you can see on this photo, it actually worked pretty well, but it's kind of giving it this artificial effect that I don't really like. So I think it's best to just leave it out of this one. All right, so I ran all 12 photos through the colorization. Honestly, it literally took me like less than a minute to do all 12, super easy. Now we're going to upscale these photos for print. I know a website and this is gonna sound really funny, but it is called Waifu 2X. Yep, Waifu 2X. If you don't know what Waifu is, it's like an anime term for like, how do I describe waifu? Waifu is a term for a fictional character, usually in anime or related media, that someone has great and sometimes romantic affection for. So we're gonna hop into Google and type in waifu 2x. We're gonna select the first one here and this is what the website should look like. If your website doesn't like this, you're on the wrong website. Go back, find this one. <laughs> the link's in the description. I don't know why I'm telling you to Google things. Upload your photo, make sure you have photo selected. I just keep noise reduction at medium and upscaling to two times. Confirm you are not a robot. I apologize if you're a robot, you cannot use this website. <laughs> I'm out of breath. That being said, you can also mess around with these settings, use whatever you want, figure out what works best for you. Pro tip here, this is a great website for upscaling screenshots as well, or even low res artwork. Hit the convert button, wait a couple seconds and your photo should open in another tab. Right click, save as. All right, and that's essentially it. We used free open sourced AI to upscale our photo and colorize it. And you didn't even have to be smart. I'm talking to you, Jeff. I know you're not smart but even you can do it. Now, because I'm actually going to print these, I am gonna throw them into Photoshop, maybe tweak them up just the littlest bit, not really do too much to them, just add a little bit of contrast and saturation in certain spots. And we'll print them off and uh, go deliver them. Oh my gosh. I'm just saying that. Oh, yeah, that's my sister. That's amazing. It's pretty neat. I like how I did the cover. So this is your grandpa here. Wow, that dates that photo. All right, we are back. That was some good wholesome content. You're welcome. Thank you. I hope to see you next time. This has been another successful AI adventure with yours truly and you. Thanks for coming. I appreciate you. Stick around. I'll see you next time.